What did you say to me? You said you read Deuteronomy 28, and you said what? I read the whole Bible. I started when I was five, because my mama was either going to make me sit there and listen to her read it for an hour a day, talk to her and let me read it for myself. Mm -hmm. it took a while. I was a kid, you know, it's King James Version. I, I prayed, prayed for understanding, and maybe because I was a child and I really meant it, I was able to get it. Because I started reading, that everything I was reading was not lighted up with what they teach you on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And I kept reading, it kept being different. And I was a kid, so I thought maybe I was reading something wrong, or I didn't have some understanding. It took me a while for me to realize it wasn't about me being right or wrong. It's the Word is right. Mm -hmm. And what the Word says is completely different from what they're going to teach you. I'm not going to teach you what's in that book. Got to read it. I was five, started, by the time I was eight, I made it to Deuteronomy 28. Mm -hmm. At the end of Deuteronomy 28, I remember it clearly. I read it, I looked up, and I said, wow, really, wow, this is awesome. I was like, I know the only people that fit what's in this book of who it says that the true house of Israel is, the lost tribes of Israel. Mm -hmm. They're lost, you know, they say they're scattered. We don't know who they are. I know who they are. It's clear. It's you guys. It's what do you mean by you guys? The folks that were sent through the transatlantic slave trade. Mm -hmm. The folks that are still in the lands of their captivity. Israel is in the lands of their captivity. There is no creation of the so-called Jewish state of Israel in 1948. That does not fit prophecy. Mm -hmm. There's people over there that call themselves Jews. They call their own selves Ashkenazi. If you go look at Genesis chapter 10, 1 through 5, it tells you Ashkenaz is descended from Japheth. Noah's son Japheth, not Shem. That means he's a Gentile. I'm a Gentile. You know, we're Gentiles. And I mean, like, I wasn't brainwashed. I got the Bible before they do the brainwashing of the program and, and try to make you think Egypt is white, which is ridiculous because it's Africa. So, you know, all that's Africa. <laughs> so, you know, I'm thinking clearly because I read it. I know what's going on, you know. And, like, I was a weird kid. I thought a lot. Mm -hmm. I thought about things. And, you know, my, my mom, she was really cool because... She never taught me no kind of hate. She taught me to respect. So, so what you say about the one-third? Okay. That Bible that's told me the truth about the fake Jews, mm -hmm. the Revelation 2 died, Revelation 3 died, you know they run everything. i got to throw this in there. They run everything. The media, mm -hmm. the entertainment industry, the banking, the world pretty much. All mm -hmm. the wars we fight is because they tell us to go kick ass. That's what America is. We are the Satan, Satan's military arm. For and why I say Satan... Revelation 2 died, Revelation 3 died. I know those who say they are Jews, but do lie and mm -hmm. are of the synagogue of Satan. Mm -hmm. We done read they Ashkenazi, they Japheth. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's clear. So what you say that about the one-third ruling the earth? Okay, well, here's how I know that that's true. One-third, because that's true, so the rest of it's true. Your, you guys' story's in there, mm -hmm. and it's all true. lines up perfectly. It's all there that makes any kind of sense. One-third of all nations will be left at the very, very end. You said and one third, uh huh, one third of Israel. You guys are going to be on top.